Hello, welcome back to the dairy. Right then. Just made our way back from the fence. Mark's got an arrow in his shoulder. Bandits are attacking. We repaired the fence, but we left the gate open. So, yeah, that's a fat lot of good, really. Uh, is there something wrong with this generator? Because the generator came on when it shouldn't have. Maybe some, sort of, maybe some sort of sabotage? Maybe the brothers had something to do with it? I'm not exactly sure, but that was very weird. Put us in a lot of danger. Um, let's just use this over here. I haven't been to this part yet, so I'll have a little to explore, I suppose. Just the barn door, what we got here? A bale of hay. Lots of hay. Damn right. Oh, you can see duck in the background. Is adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Another hay pile. Over here. Oh yes, of course, the entire group's here now. Everyone's here. So, that means these two are here as well. Unfortunately. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. There's more food. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hmm. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Fair enough. Thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it's it's decent, I guess. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. What about you? Can I speak to you? No. Good. Anything else over here? Nope, can't can't go up there. Let's have a look at that barn. I know it's like I could open the door, so. Wait, what's that back there? Oh, cornfield. Okay. Let's look at the cornfield. And they get shot. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yep, I suppose so. Let's use this barn door. Let's see what's inside. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. That's not the first time you slept in a barn. Really? I can't go in? It's just... No, he if just says that. enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Okay, the brothers mentioned in the last video that I should go and talk to them uh, about possibly dealing with the bandits, so... I suppose I should go see them? Or maybe I'll go to over to, over to Kenny and Duck first, who I think are probably still playing on the swing. Yep, I'm going to get kicked in the face if I keep going this way. How are we all doing then? How you doing, Clementine? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Hell yeah! Sure, happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Alright, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Mm -hmm. Since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. How long is it going to last, though? Things will ever get back to how they were? Probably not. Well, yes, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day. You shared hope. Got to get back to 
That's a nice way of putting it. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Well, I don't really know about how true this is, but... Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? Yeah, it's not like I left the door open for the... Oh, wait. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> Can I speak to these guys? Just look, look at the swing. Happy. Yeah, they do look happy. Can I speak to Kenny specifically? Yes, I can. <laughs> careful, Duck, careful. Don't want to knock out the main character. Hey. Hey, Lee. Hey. How's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Well, yeah. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clear, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Hmm. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right now. I think they're standing... Yeah, they're standing right up there near the door. I'm going over there now. Andy and Danny. I guess Mark's inside. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there, but... We should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. All right but then, Psycho Charlie Sheen. All right. Go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. Clearly. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? I don't know. Are we? I think so. Yeah, we got to work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. He's taking the gun. Oh, we've both got guns. Okay. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Well, I've still got three episodes to go, so probably. Okay, so where are we going? All right, in the woods. Okay, makes sense, I suppose. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Aha. <laughs> Soup Express. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Looks like it. Who's there then? Anyone? Anyone at all? Save lots, yeah. No one's there. Okay. Sneak up to the camp. Will do. Just gotta make sure I'm really quiet. They might be nearby. You see anybody? Apart from you? No. Not yet. Stay on your guard. They wouldn't just Watch leave this out here, would they? Check out the tan. Yeah, it 
be someone asleep. He actually sounded disappointed. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Right, well, there's tables full of stuff. And bottles over here. Let's look at them. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. A uh, gas can, that might come in handy. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Yeah. Alright, uh. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Hmm. All right. Saint John Dairy. Well, that's Boxes ours. from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. You gonna take it, or is it a trap? There's two of them. Nope. Can't examine it anymore. I don't think. Okay. Uh, shopping cart. Let's have a look. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Hmm, let's have a look inside this tent then. Might be tent something. It looks in pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Yeah. Okay, anything in the kettle maybe? Or is it hot? Have they just recently been here? It looks like it. Just water. Huh. Okay, well, um, look at the chair, I guess. It's too quiet out here. Looks a bit like of a cliche, but it is to too quiet. Okay, over here. I can, I can grab the box. Empty. No. Nope. Alright. Uh, what's that? A control or something? Or like a Game Boy or something? Oh, it's a camera. Okay. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful. What's that about? Get a move on. Hmm. Okay. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Anything else is a crate, but I'm not hoping. Well, I don't think there's going to be much in here. Let's put it that way. Nothing. No. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, pretty much everything's checked out, isn't it? I think. All right. I think I've checked everything, but let me just double check. I'm just going to walk around, just make sure that I haven't missed anything. I checked out this chair, right? Looks like they expected to be here a while. Well, Danny's gone now, so maybe if I inspect the tent... Yep, time for a closer inspection. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, man. What's that down there? The hell? Don't Is that what? Whoa. Shit. Put your guns down. 
I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? What the hell, man? We had a deal with them. I ain't them. Them? No. I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. Really? I asked you, sweet. Put your damn guns down. Doesn't look good. I, I won't kill you. I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. What the hell? You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. Hmm, I don't think she does. Dairy. Fuck I did. That's them other people. Makes good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, <laughs> right through. String him up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. I'm no, trying to reason I with her, but inevitably I, I think I might have to kill, kill her. You fuckers. <laughs> She's maybe no, a bit mad. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. Ooh. Okay, there's something weird. There's something weird about that guy, Danny. What's going on with him? God damn it! Thanks, I guess. But well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Yeah, it's just. Thank you for shopping and save lots. <laughs> it's a clean shot, though, right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Yeah. Still, what a waste. You did make quite a lot of noise, though. They might be so, coming. That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That's pretty harsh. I wanted to hear a little bit more from her. I think she knew a lot more. Something about him. I don't trust Danny that much. Maybe Andy, but... Danny... not... no. Well, there you go. That was a recon for you, I guess. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. I don't think They're that was her. Uh... What happened? Handled it, Mama. Yeah, handled it. How's Mark, I guess? This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? The husband. My husband. Yeah. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh boy, here we Calm go. Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Do what? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Speaking we of which... We'll a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. I hope so. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Yeah. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. All right, hold on. Can I speak to her? Friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Oh yeah, it was a sick cow, wasn't it? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, Clementine as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that hat. Clementine's hat, what the fuck? 
weird. Very weird. Right, is she, she still isn't sitting up here, yeah? Okay, um, I didn't actually talk to her about Mark. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? How's Mark? There we go. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. <laughs> I'd still like to check on him. You're going to have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Really? This family is just getting a little bit creepy. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. Uh, I'm sorry, I just had a, the most horrible thought that perhaps she was cooking Mark. I really hope I'm wrong, but I sort of hope I'm right. Is that wrong? I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Apparently they can. Your boy is nuts. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Well, now go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 no. She's probably not cooking, Mark. Probably. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's go into the barn. And I guess speak to these guys again? Oh, hang on, wait, what's this? There's a toolbox. What's in the toolbox? Ah. A multi-tool. I've got to grab this. I don't know why, but... I'm just going to borrow this for a second. Just in case I need to pull any arrows out, that might help. I don't know. <laughs> right, I suppose... I'll go talk to these guys first, then I'll go talk to Clementine and everyone else in the barn. I don't know what they were squabbling about. And again, he doesn't want to talk. Lily's doing his talking for him. I hope that bench breaks. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Maybe. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? Don't ask me that. I don't know, I think yeah. she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn, where we at least know what to expect. Mm. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. Yeah. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Huh. Well, let's speak about Larry, I guess. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Hmm. Does he treat you like that, too? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. Yes, but frequently. he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. Mm. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Well, I suppose I have a little bit of sympathy for him, but to be honest, if push comes to shove, he's gonna be the first one to die if it's my choice. Going on here. What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? 
It's nothing. No, I don't, don't think it's nothing. It. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Alright, well, I'll, I'll play it cool for now. Hopefully I won't let on that I'm sort of a bit suspicious. I think Danny knows a, a little bit though. Let's go in here. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the sick cow. Is it like a it's zombie okay, cow? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Really? Is that the best idea? It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Yeah, what is that? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Oh. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Let's talk to these guys then. Oh, who do I start with? Oh, Clementine. I think I've got your hat. I don't know why I've got your hat. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor end who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? That's not his, That's not the mother, is it? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. You know, I'm, I'm feeling so unlucky right now that if I start petting the cow, I'll somehow die. But maybe I can. Just look at the cow. Okay. Uh, Andy, hi. I'll get some more hey information there, out Andy. of you. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. All right. Um, when do you think uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. I would love to know what she's cooking, though. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Okay, uh, Doc? Have How I missed doing? anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Fair enough. And, uh, catch her? No? Can't speak to her? Alright, what else have we got in the bar then? Door, open all these. Maybe there's something interesting in one of them. Um, nope, not really. I don't think so. Let's go back. I guess I'll try the next one, though. And the next one, and the next one, until I find something. Alright, can I examine the, uh, so look no. I wanna play in the hay. Yeah. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Shoulda saved Sean. That's what I might call him actually, shoulda saved Sean. Saint Sean's dairy. Well it was these sort of boxes that we found in the camp, so have a look. Empty. Ah, oh. oh, that's a shame. All right, let's um, let's go check the door. I guess can I open the door? Yeah, I can. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. It's a bit weird. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. 
It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Yeah, I'll protect her no matter what, I guess. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? It's a bit the fishy. Is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Eat, Let me then do it. Look at what we're dealing with first. Oh, really? Look at the screw. Oh, okay. Well, let's look at the screws. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> Think you're saying? Uh, I She's think he sort of is. From Florida, crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> Urban. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. We got a plot I'll going. Hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. <laughs> no, can Danny's the crazy boys one. Boys, find something. I don't know, maybe. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. So yeah. about your friend. I don't know. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. This is a bit weird. I'll be honest, this is a bit weird. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. How would I go about doing that? Maybe Kenny can help me out. Uh, let me just finish looking at these things, actually. I can open these doors. There might be something in here of some use. Oh, what's all this? Anything in here? A wheelbarrow full of shit, looks like it. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Not good. I think that's the only thing in here that I can examine, so let's get out of here. Next up. I think I can open this one too. Yes. I must be thorough. It's a feeding trough. Yep. Pretty much. Right, so there's one there, so presumably there's another one. Okay. Anything of any interest anywhere in here? Uh, something down there, fence posts? Just some fence posts. Well, okay. Huh. Well, maybe I should talk to Andy directly, maybe to distract him, or... Dunno. Do something outside, perhaps. Who knows? Tell you what, though, I'll try and figure that out in the next video. I'll see you then.